Oh, no, 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 everyone. Miss Butterfly and I have some exciting news for you. Miss Butterfly has offered to give after-school dancing lessons. Yay! What kind of dancing lessons, Miss Butterfly? I don't think I'm good at any other dancing except my own. I'm going to teach all kinds of dancing, Busby. Um, some of the stars are a little tricky, but I'm sure everyone will manage. Anyone who signs up for lessons with Miss Butterfly can perform a dance at our special school disco at the end of the week. Uh -huh. <laughs> Remember, you must sign up with Miss Butterfly and tell me if you wish to perform. Oh, we'd like to perform, Miss Ladybird. Yes, please. Why not? We don't have to take lessons and do a dance at the school disco, do we? No, Busby. You don't have to if you don't want to. Phew. And five. Oh, watch out. <laughs> Ruby and Debbie are really good at dancing and they're finding it hard. Are you sure you don't want to perform in the school oh. disco show, Busby? <laughs> No thanks, Miss Ladybird. I'll just stick to my own kind of dancing. Hey Jasper, hey Barnaby, do you want to play tag? Sorry, Busby. We're busy rehearsing the cowboy dance Miss Butterfly taught us. Watch! some more. <sighs> Bye then. See you later, partner. Yeehaw! Wow! Your dance is really good. Thanks, Busby. We can't wait to do it at the school disco. Busby, isn't your dance routine going well? I don't have one. I didn't sign up with Miss Butterfly and now I wish I had. Are you sure it's not too late? Of course. I can find Miss Butterfly and tell her I've changed my mind. Thanks, Mama. Hello, Miss Butterfly. Could you teach me a new dance doll for the school disco, please? Oh, I'm sorry, Busby, but I'm all booked up now. And I thought Miss Ladybird said you didn't want to perform at the disco. That's right, I didn't. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, whoa there, young Busby. Sorry, Mr Millipede. <laughs> I expect you were thinking about your dance. I've just seen Jasper and Barnaby. They're cutting quite a caper with their cowboy routine. <laughs> No, I'm not doing a dance. I didn't sign up with Miss Butterfly because I thought learning a new dance style would be too tricky. And now it's too late. Oh, <laughs> I think you're forgetting that Miss Butterfly's not the only one at Honey Farm who knows a dance step or two. Wow! I could teach you a bit of tap for the school disco if you like. Really? And you think I could do it? Of course. It just takes a bit of practice. Hey, meet me at the garage and we'll take it from there. Thanks, Mr Millipede. I'll see you there.
impressed by all your routines. You've worked so hard. But now you've finished, we can do any dance you like. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I have a routine to show everyone too. Oh, well, go ahead, Busby. <laughs> taught me it wasn't tricky to learn a new dance style after all. I'll sign up for your lesson straight away next time. <laughs> How about we sign up with you? Can you teach us your dance? Of course. Just do what I do. Watch. <laughs> up your stall? I'm trying out my summer muffin range, peach and raspberry. I'm hoping they'll be popular. And I'm helping. Very good. Whew, isn't it hot? That's why I'm offering my refreshing iced honey tea and fruit lollies. Blubber delicious, even if I don't say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Beetle, why on earth are you carrying all that heavy stuff in this heat? Oh, it's dangerous to overstrain yourself in the sun, you know. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I've come to set up my sun awareness store. Oh, what a good idea. I'll be telling everyone about the possible dangers of the sun and how to protect themselves. Would you like me to help Dr. Beetle? I'm good at helping. Me too. Uh, what are we helping with? Well, Vincent, my muffins are melting and there are no customers. Time to go home, I think. Ha! If the customers aren't coming to me, I'm going to them. Oh, oh dear boys. I was really hoping to spread the word about safety in the sun. But there's no one here. Iced honey tea, fruit lollies, delicious, icy. I know. Why don't you take your son advice out to Honey Farm, Dr. Beetle? Just like Vincent with his iced tea. Oh, I don't have any wheels, Busby. But we've got wings. We could be your sun awareness team. Your super sun awareness team. Oh, I say. What a wonderful idea, boys. Here comes the super sun awareness team. Bye, Dr. Beetle. Uh, yeah, good luck. Be aware of the sun. Prepare for the sun. Take care in the sun. And have fun. It's not just hot, 
It's double extra boiling with super scorching sprinkles on. <sighs> but there's loads more sun awareness to spread about. Come on. No, I'm stopping in the shade. Same here. But we've got to carry on. We're doing such a great job. <sighs> I'll do it on my own then. Phew. There you go, Katie. Stay safe in the sun. Thanks, Busby. Phew. Got to go. Bye, Busby. Take it easy. Hello, Millicent. Don't forget to drink sunscreen and rub a hat into your skin. Huh? Are you all right, Busby? Fine. Just spreading the word about sun in the fun. <laughs> Slow down, Busby. Oh! Mrs. Wasp, drink hats and put on a bottle of water. Huh? Are you all right, Busby? Spreading the word. Sunny, isn't it, Mrs. Wasp? Don't forget to drink some water, Busby. <sighs> Hi, Barnipper. Hello, Jaspy. <sighs> Are you okay, Busby? You're acting very strange. Um, actually, I feel a bit strange. Uh, hello, boys. Hello, Dr. Beetle. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, uh, Mrs. Wasp told me that I might need to check in on Busby, so I came to find you. Ah, no, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yes, um, a mild case of heat exhaustion, I'm afraid, Busby. You need to rest now. Oh, dear. I should have slowed down. And worn a hat. And used sunscreen. And drunk lots more water. And stayed in the shade. And followed my own advice. <laughs> <laughs> Ice tea, anyone? Ice lollies? Ah, yes, indeed. A round of lollies for my super sun awareness team, please. Thanks, Dr Beetle. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you, boys. Yeah, it's time to have some fun in the sun. Or in the shade. Well, I haven't fetched the carpool car yet. And the picnic basket isn't packed. Maybe you can help while I take Baby for her nap. Help pack the picnic basket? Then we'll definitely have the best picnic ever. I'm going to pack everything. <laughs> Don't pack too much or you won't be able to carry the basket down to the beach. Don't worry. We'll just pack the things we need for the best picnic ever. I know exactly what we need. Me too. See you soon. <laughs> so, we'll need buckets and spades. We want sandwiches, carrots and dips, and a bat and ball, and a rug and cushions. Hello! Picnic, picnic! Oh, I hope you're as excited as I am. Oh, what's this? Are you in charge of the packing, you two? Yes, but we haven't started yet. I'll make the sandwiches. <gasps> oh, good. A ball. Button ball is my favourite. Right. We need more games. Hmm. Oh, right. That's a lot of games. Won't the basket get too full? It wouldn't be the best picnic ever if we ran out of games to play. Oh, OK, OK, Jump. I'll take you out. <laughs> hmm. We don't need cushions. We'll be too busy playing games to sit down. Best picnic ever. Ooh, I know what else we need. Games. 
games for John. Here are the peanut butter sandwiches. I hope you've packed plenty of your mama's muffins. I can't get enough of them. Me neither. I'll pack more. It won't be the best picnic ever if we run out of muffins. <laughs> oh, Busby, we're never going to need all of these. Best picnic ever. I know what else we'll need. Snacks for Jump. Nice and light. I thought you two would pack way too much. Me too. Well done, Busby. Well done, Ruby. Thanks, Grandma. Hooray! Hooray! We're going to the beach. La, 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 la. We're going to the beach. La, 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 la. So come on, everyone. Come and join us in the summer sun We're gonna have some fun Down at the beach This is definitely the best spot Right here Yes, it's perfect <sighs> Ruby, Busby Is this all that you've packed? Well, we've got toys and food for Jump, but nothing to sit on, nothing to eat off, and no games to play. What? But well, where did the things I packed go? You left no room for food. Where did all the things that I packed go? You unpacked what I put in. It's all your fault. No, it's yours. Now, now, you two. Arguing won't make the best picnic ever. Sorry, Busby. I should have asked what you wanted to pack. Me too. No worry. All brothers and sisters disagree sometimes. But they can work together to sort it out. We're going to have to if we're going to save the picnic. It's not too late to make this the best picnic ever. I'll get the sitting things. You think about the games. <laughs> to sit on and I've got the food and after we've eaten I know exactly what game to play okay your turn grandpa who am I whoop, whoop, whoop. um are you grandma B <laughs> uh, me uh, a seesaw <laughs> oh, where do, who are you <laughs> I was being Jump, Grandpa. No, oh, Jump, of course. <laughs> Silly me. Well done, you two. You really managed to make this picnic the best picnic ever. <laughs> <laughs> Not so difficult after all, eh, Mama? <laughs> Not with your help. You're a real computer whiz, Ruby. Thanks, Mama. Come on, I'm taking you out for lunch and I'll use the tablet to book a table online. Yeah! Hey, why aren't you 
taking me out for lunch? You're not a computer whiz. <laughs> Never mind, Busby. I'll order us some pizzas later and we'll take them to the park. Barry's got a new takeaway service now, remember? Yay! Thanks, Papa! <laughs> Hey, perfect timing, ladies. One delicious and nutritious ham and cheese pizza, all ready to go. But we didn't order a takeaway, Barry. We booked a table for lunch. Oh, come on, I'll find you a table. Oh, no. What's the matter, Barry? My new online takeaway system isn't working. Everything's getting mixed up. To be honest, I'm not that confident with computers. <laughs> but you're a whiz in the kitchen. And I'm a whiz on computers. I could help Barry with his takeaway system. <gasps> really, Ruby? I think that might be a bit complicated, even for you, Ruby. Please, Mama, let me try. Go on, Mama B. She certainly can't make it any worse. Well, maybe she could try after lunch. Do -do -do -do. There, a cappuccino for you, while your whiz of a daughter sorts out my computer. Thanks, Barry. Right, young lady, see what you make of this. Click on the pizza for the takeaway ordering system and the chair for the table booking system. The two systems are getting mixed up with each other. Exactly. Howdy doody, everyone. Hello, Postman Spider. What can I get you? Well, I wanted to try one of your new takeaway pizzas, Barry. Perfect, Postman Spider. I'll order it for you now and check the takeaway system is working. Do -do 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 -do. One delicious and nutritious pizza! Ooh, thanks, Barry. Wow, Ruby, you've got the takeaway system working perfectly. I do appreciate you being round. And if I work on the online booking system, I can probably stop the two systems getting mixed up. Be my guest, Ruby Doo! <laughs> <gasps> One pepperoni pizza, extra hot. Oh dear me, nobody. I booked a table for tea. Besides, I'm watching my waistline. Hi, Barry. Two cheese and tomato pizzas, please. We ordered them online. Oh, did you? Oh, no! Uh, spinach and broccoli pizza? Spinach? Broccoli? Yuck! Oh, you didn't order takeaway pizza, did you? No. Besides, we always have ham and pineapple. Right. Mum, you promised me a honey shake. <laughs> What have I done? Oh. Uh, what about our pizza? Forward to that. Some Chinese. Oh dear, I think I just made it worse. Oh Ruby, why didn't you ask for help? Because I'm supposed to be a computer whiz. Hi Bobby. Oh, what's up? Um... Ruby tried to help Barry sort out his booking and takeaway system. But I messed up. Come on, I think I can help. Hey, you did it! Only with Bobby's help. You were nearly there, Ruby, honestly. Sorry, Barry. You tried your best, Ruby, and that's all that counts. Besides, it's fixed now. Woohoo! Even whizzes have to ask for help sometimes. There you go. A table for one, as requested, with a regular honey shake, no froth. Thank you, Betty. The pleasure is mine, Dr. Beetle. Oh, hang on, more customers arriving. Hey, one perfectly cooked ham and pineapple pizza. Oh, yes, just what we ordered. Cool, thanks, Barry. Hi, 
Hi, guys. Hello, Barry. Table for three, please. Of course. Now, let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, the takeaway and booking systems are working perfectly now, Ruby. Thanks to you. Great. But I can't find a reservation for you here. Whoops, I forgot to book. Papa! Never mind. I'm sure I can find you a table. Come with me. Wow, these pizzas sound amazing, Barry. Barry is a whiz, Papa. Didn't you know? Right back at you, Ruby. Debbie and I are doing jewellery making later and I need some pretty bows. Is there anything good in here? Aha! Treasure! <laughs> That's not treasure. That's just an old sun catcher. You can have it if you like. A sun catcher? How does it work? Uh, you just hold it up and it catches all the sunlight. Wow, thanks Ruby. I'm going to go and catch it right now. to catch you. <sighs> it's not working. Maybe if I try somewhere else. <gasps> Hello, Busby. Hello. What are you doing? <sighs> well, I was trying to catch the sun. Catch the sun? You can't catch the sun. You can if you've got one of these. It's broken. It's not doing anything. <sighs> I know. Throw it away then. Come on the swings. Let's play sky high. Wait a minute. Maybe we could do something else with it. Good Barnaby. We tried, it just doesn't do anything. Hello everyone. Oh, don't forget to stop by the bus stop later to try the new rainbow smoothie. It's our special today. Thanks, Bobby, we will. <sighs> We're finished here anyway. Oh, that's pretty. It's pretty boring. It looks just like a jewel. Like a diamond? <laughs> Maybe the Queen would like it for her crown. Ah, good morning to you all. I am just on my way to the buzz stop to try the special rainbow smoothie. <gasps> oh, goodness gracious. We've got a diamond thingy. We thought the Queen might like it. I see, I see. Most intriguing. Mm, it might be worth a pretty penny or two. I think he likes it. Apologies, but I have to reject your kind offer. It's a pretty enough bauble, but a mere trinket. Not quite good enough for the royal crown, I'm afraid. Typical. Throw it away, Busby. It's rubbish. I suppose so. <sighs> Hello, sis. Two rainbow smoothies. One's for Ruby. She'll be here in a minute. We're going to make some jewellery. Hmm, I think it needs more sparkly bits. Oh, I saw something very sparkly at the playground earlier. Busby was trying to play with it, but then he decided to throw it away. Really? I wonder if it's still there. Thanks, Bobby. Tell Ruby I'll be back really soon. <coughs> Bye. to 
show Ruby. Another glass of your finest rainbow smoothie, please, Barry. Healthy and colourful. <laughs> look, Ruby, look! It's lovely, Debbie. What a pretty jewel. <gasps> wow! Do you like it, Busby? I made it from Debbie. Look! Debbie, where did you get it? I found it in the playground bin. It's my sun catcher. It works. It works after all, Jasper. Look! I knew we should have kept it. I'm sorry, Debbie, but I would really like it back. Um, it is actually mine, Busby. Remember? But you gave it to me. And you threw it away. It's mine now. <clears throat> ah, now then. If I could just reopen our discussion of your kind offer, Busby. What? My kind offer? Yes. I didn't realise your bauble was quite so sparkly. On reflection, I think it would be just the ticket for the Queen's special occasion crown. But it's mine! Hey, calm down, calm down, everyone. Let's not argue. It's too nice a day for arguing. I know. What if we all share it? Share it? How? We could cut it up. We could all have a piece. No, it won't be able to catch the sun then. We should keep it somewhere we could all look at it. Like here, at the bus stop. That's a top idea, Busby. Tip top. A communal sun catcher. Her Majesty will be very impressed. And I know just the place to hang it. Oh, the colours of the rainbow. Now everyone will know where to come for their rainbow smoothies. Thank you, Busby and Ruby and Debbie and Lord Bartleby Woods. And me. Busby. I won it for my honeycomb biscuits last summer. Mm, they were delicious. <laughs> You're too kind, dear. I thought I'd put it in Lord Bartleby Buzz's time capsule. Time capsule? What's that? It's a special sort of box. Lord Bartleby Buzz is inviting people to put things in it. Then he's going to bury it by the oak tree for people of the future to discover. Maybe hundreds of years from now. You mean like buried treasure? Well, yes. They'll be able to look at our special things and see how we lived. No! No! <laughs> Not if Jump has his way. Wow! I want to put something in. You can. And I'm going to bake cakes to help celebrate. <gasps> I know what to put in. It's the hive. Can I take it to Lord Bartleby Buzz? Of course. It's really good, Busby. Thanks, Mama. Bye. Hi, Jasper. Hi, Barnaby. Have you chosen something to put in the time capsule? I'm putting the venture on Bee Island in. Whoa! And I'm having one last bounce before my old football goes in. Wow, great idea. Have you chosen what you're going to put in, Barry? Yeah, guess what it is. Give us a clue, then. A hero rides through the forest with a bag of treasure. The bad guys are chasing him. <laughs> he has nothing to protect him but his trusty shield. So what are you putting in the time capsule? A trusty shield? A bag of treasure? Nope, these. Old cinema tickets? For my favourite film. Robin Roots and the Merry Bees of Buzzwood Forest. Why didn't I think of that? Don't be late, Busby. The time gadget will be closed as soon as the Queen arrives. I'll see you there.
flashlight you already have. Yes, of course you can. Phew. Thanks. <laughs> Hi guys <laughs> Busby, it's a time capsule, not a jumble sale Quick, let's get to the oak tree Here, let me help you Just in time for Lord Bartleby Buzz's speech. Ahem. Good day, one and all. Here it is, the hive's very own time capsule. Looks more like an old cardboard box to me. Uh, <clears throat> yes, but the things we put in it will show the people of the future what the hive is all about. So come along and put your things in the box before Queen Bee arrives for the closing ceremony. I'll never get all my stuff in there. It's way too small. Why don't you pick just one thing? I don't know which one. Lord Bartleby Buzz said it should show bees of the future what the hive is all about. That's it. I know what to put in. Please don't close it yet. But the Queen is arriving any moment for the closing ceremony, Busby. I need to fetch something. It really is the perfect thing. Well... We can wait until the Queen gets here, but we can't wait longer than that. Thanks! More stuff! Hi, Busby. Why aren't you at the... Sorry, Mama! Can't stop! That's just what I was looking for! Thanks! Oh, OK. Bye, then. Here he is. Why have you got a jar of honey? I declare this time capsule closed. Stop! Please! Honey? Uh, yes. Is that okay, Queen Bee? Okay? My dear Busby, it's perfect. Anyone who finds this years from now will know exactly what life in the hive was all about. There. I think the honour of closing the time capsule should go to... Busby. Wow, thanks! Hope you enjoy this treasure! People from the future! <laughs> if you don't want this, I'll have it! Big news is. Right, everyone. I have a special announcement. I've decided to run a baking competition. Wow. Brilliant. I want all the cakes in the competition to be made from honey farm ingredients. Yeah? And the winning cake will go on the bus stop's menu. Hey! hey. Wow. You're sure to win, Mama. You're the best baker around. Oh, I don't know about that, Busby. You could definitely win too, Auntie. Thank you, Ruby. What a lovely thing to say. Sorry, Auntie Bee. I meant you and Mama are both really good at baking cakes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, my mum's cakes are the best. Oh, Jasper. Well, Barry's competition is the best way to show what great cakes we can all bake. And you can help us if you like. What do you say? Yes, Yay! please. So, what are we going to bake? How about my classic honey cake? Well, we want something with the wow factor too. How about my funfetti cake? It looks amazing. Are you saying my cakes don't look good? <laughs> no, what I mean is... Barry said we should make a cake using only honey farm ingredients. Yes, my funfetti cake. No, my honey cake. But my funfetti cake looks better. But my honey cake tastes better. Why don't you make two cakes? 
great idea, Busby. We'll split into two teams and see whose cake is the best. Sounds good to me. Come on, Ruby. You're on my team. We'll show them what we can do. No, that's not what I meant. I meant bake two cakes together. Oh, dear. Right. You'll take turns to prepare your cakes and then we'll get them in the oven at the same time. Ready? Ready, Busby? Ready, Ruby? Get set. Go! cake. Oh no, it wasn't baked long enough. Oh no, my honey cake's burnt to a crisp. Oh dear. What are we going to do now? There's not enough time to make two more cakes. But there is enough time to make one special cake. You and Auntie can team up and we'll make a cake together. Well, I'll help. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Why didn't you do that in the first place? It was my fault. No, no, it was my fault. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but what cake will you make? It would be nice if the cake looked good. But you're right. Taste is what matters most. What if it tasted and looked good? Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's bake! Miss Ladybird. Thank you. <laughs> Just one more bite. <laughs> oh, that's, that's lemon-tastic, Mr. Grasshopper. I'm so glad you like it. Oh, where's your cake, Mrs. Wasp? It's right here. <coughs> now, where is it? Ah, oh, I'm so full. Oh, Jasper! <laughs> oh. Sorry, Mum. But the cake was definitely a winner. <laughs> now then, what have we got here? It's our very special funny honey cake. A funny honey cake? Hmm. Well, let's see. <gasps> okay, okay, everyone. You've all made amazing cakes, but it's time to announce the winner. It's... Mama Bee, Auntie Bee, Busby and Ruby with their funny honey cake! <laughs> it was all down to you. No, it was all down to you. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, sis. And now, funny honey cake for everyone! Not for me. I'm still full. Ta-da! Mwah! 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 
Have you got the sprinkles? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then let's get baking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What are you going to make? Sister cakes! What? They were the first things we ever baked when we were little. They were our own invention. And they were... Disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> then we got better at baking. And started to make them together whenever we could. And that's why you call them sister cakes? Exactly! exactly. <laughs> Do you remember when we put salt in them instead of sugar? And then gave them to Grandpa and he pretended they were delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it must be lovely having a sister to do things with. Oh, it is. We share all our secrets, don't we, sis? Come here. You're silly! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, buzzy, buzzy bee. What, what are we having for our tea, tea, tea? Hi, Debbie. Three, two, one, yummy honey bun. Eat it up quickly, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Do you want to go? One, two, three, buzzy, buzzy bee. What are we making for our... Oh, I'll never be able to do it like you two. You're so good at it. Oh yes, but we've been practising it forever, don't forget. Since Debbie was a teeny weeny little bubba bee. And you were my bossy big sister. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, buzzy buzzy bee. What, what are, are we having, having for our tea oh. tea tea? <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, where are you going? Ruby! <laughs> Looking good. Oh, hi, Ruby. Ruby? Ruby? Is something the matter? I promise not to tell anyone if you don't want me to. It's silly, but seeing you and Mama together, and then Debbie and her sister, I... Yes? I wish I had a sister too. I told you it was silly. It's not silly at all. It's just that, well, you have got a sister. <gasps> oh, yeah! Hello, baby! <coughs> You're my sister! One, two, three! Buzzy, buzzy, bee! <coughs> Oh, there must be someone who can be my sister. One, two, three, four. Must be. I've got a great new game to play together. It's called Sisters. Come on. Okay. Hmm, let me see. What have we got here? There. From now on, you are my sister. And your name is... Buzzbellina. Right. We'll share stories and secrets and stuff. It'll be fun. Hold up your hands. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sorry, Ruby. I don't think I'm very good at this. Never mind. There's loads of other stuff sisters can do. Tell me a secret. Uh, OK. I know. I like pancakes. That's not a secret. Everybody knows you like pancakes. Well, I told you I wasn't very good at this. <sighs> Never mind, Busby. You can go back to being my brother. I suppose I'll just have to wait till baby grows up. Ruby, don't you want to be my friend anymore? Of course I do! Oh, it's just when you went off before, I thought I'd done something wrong. No! It's just, 
Mama and Auntie were having so much fun together. And then you and Bobby. It just made me want to have a sister so much. It's not all good, you know, having a sister. Bobby can be really bossy sometimes, and she's always borrowing my things without asking. Plus, she never tells me any secrets. She's way too grown up. I'll tell you a secret. You're my best friend. <laughs> You're my best friend too. <laughs> Hello, I brought you these to cheer you up. Mama's sister cakes. And to say sorry for not being a very good sister. That's OK, Busby. You make a pretty good brother. And anyway, I've got Debbie. And a best friend is just as good as a sister. lesson. So, navigation is finding your way around and not getting lost. Signs like these help to show you which way to go. But watch out for warning signs. They tell you when to be careful. You don't want to get lost in a bramble patch. Ouch! Ah! So, all you need to do is read the signs, follow the path, and have fun, right? Right! Let's get this race started! Oh, hey, Busby, it's not a race. It's a fun way to learn navigation. Remember? It might not be a race, but we're still gonna win. Right, Busby? No way, Busby. We're gonna win by miles. Right, Debbie? <laughs> okay, there's the first sign. Off you go! Keep to the path, follow the signs, and remember, it's not a race. Oh, hello. That's it. You can do it. Follow that path. Let's get navigating. Remember, it's important to drink plenty of water when you exercise. <laughs> hey, you have to stop for some water. Thanks, Mr. Grasshopper. But we had a big drink before we started. Bye. Good thinking. That's excellent planning. No, that's not fair. Come back. That's it. Well done. And remember, oh, it's not a race. Slow and steady as you go. Ah, see you at the finish. <laughs> Busby, why don't we play a trick on them? I I'm not sure. Is it safe? They're coming! Oh, OK! <laughs> it works! They'll be ages! Let's go! Wait! Spiky brambles! What if they get lost in a bramble patch? Don't worry! I'm sure they'll realise they've gone the wrong way before they get to the brambles. Come on, we can win! Hmm... No, I'd rather lose the race than send Ruby and Debbie into the horrid spiky brambles. Oh, OK. It's not a race anyway. Uh... Wait! How will we find our way back? 
Oh, I don't want to get lost. I wish we hadn't tricked them. What are we going to do, Busby? I know. Grab some pollen balls. <laughs> Lost. I don't understand. We followed the signs. I don't want to be in this race anymore. Nor do I. What are we going to do, Ruby? Ruby! Oh, Ruby! Did you hear that? It sounded like Busby. Busby! We're here! Phew! We found you! We must have gone wrong. You were better at this than we are. Yes! That's true. <laughs> no, it's not. We changed the sign. We're really sorry. What? It was just a trick. And we did come and find you. Uh, I don't want to worry anyone, but aren't we all lost now? No. Because we're so clever, we left our own path of pollen balls to lead us back. Wow, that is very clever. Thanks. It's that way! Follow the pollen trail! Yes! <laughs> ah, now that's strange. Are we the first bag? But the others were so far ahead. Here they come! Oh, you made it! Now, what happened? We got a bit lost, so Busby and Jasper made a clever trail of pollen balls and led us back to safety. That sounds like good navigational skills to me. Well done to you all! So, who won? Um, well now, uh, Barnaby and Schnell were the first bag. So if it was a race, which it wasn't, then they won! <laughs> OK, maybe it was a bit of a race. and make the silliest face you can. And you're not allowed to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> cool, let me have a go. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> what are you lot up to? The silly game. Do you want to play, Bobby? Oh, sorry, I'm on my way to work at the bus stop. I'm saving up for some new buzz boots. The new ones have silver stars on them. Wow, I'd love some of those. Oh, sorry, girls. I think you need to be a bit more grown up to wear a pair of these. See you later. Watch me now. Whee! Whee! It's very childish, Busby. Yes, it's a very silly game. But it's fun. Bobby is so cool. I wish I was a grown-up. You can do whatever you want. Stay up all night. Leave the dinner table whenever you want to. Wear, Wear buzz, buzz boots. boots. You know what? Maybe if we act grown-up, we'll be allowed to do proper grown-up things. Yes, let's be grown-up. Right, take that. Ha-ha, I'm going to get you. Hey, come and play superheroes. Sorry, we can't. We're very busy. Yeah, busy being boring. You're acting like kids. Uh, but we are kids. Oh, hello, girls. Let me guess. Two strawberry sundaes with straws. Oh, yeah. What do you drink with your friends, Bobby? 
Oh, well, I like dandelion tea. Oh, yes, that's our favourite too. Two mm. cups, please. Uh, OK. Whatever you say. Coming right up. I've had a brilliant idea. I'm going to have a grown-up party for my birthday next week. That's so cool. But how do we make it grown up? Hmm. We'll ask some grown-ups. It's going to be the best party ever. <coughs> Ruby, don't clap like that. It's babyish. Two dandelion teas. Enjoy. <coughs> Lovely. Mmm, delicious. Hello, ladies. What can I do for you today? Hi, Millicent. We'd like to know what makes a proper grown-up party. Proper grown-up, eh? Well, there has to be proper grown-up dancing. Thanks, Millicent. We'll definitely have dancing. Ah, uh, good afternoon, ladies. How may I be of assistance? Lord Bartleby? What's the most important thing to have at a party? Oh, well, let me think. Uh, oh, yes, canapes. Canap what? Ah, oh, the delectable little nibbles served upon trays. Hmm, the guests stand around eating these little bits of food whilst talking about fascinating topics like the weather. Oh, it's terribly civilised. Uh, great. Thanks, Lord Bartleby. There's nothing quite so delicious as a stuffed mushroom. Welcome, everyone. Please take a seat. We will bring round canopies for you to eat, and you must talk about the weather. Well, go on then. Talk about the weather. Uh, the sun is hot. <laughs> Let's try some dancing, Ruby. Now the rest of you. about some proper party music. Now this is a party. Come on, sis, show us your moves. Ruby, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, Debbie, but it's so much fun. Hey, Debbie, why aren't you at your party? Because it all went wrong. Being grown up doesn't mean you stop having fun. It's just that you start liking different things. So you have to grow up slowly. I'll let you into a secret. Some grown ups never grow up at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Come on, let's just be ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>